Hey guys, it's Nina, and today I'm going to be bringing you my booktube TBR. So guys, this is my first year that I'm doing Booktubeathon, and I am so excited. Because last year, I was away on vacation so for like the entire week, so I couldn't do anything. I was so disappointed. But this year, I'm going to do it. I've got all my books ready. I'm going to do all the book reading challenges. I don't know if I'll actually finish it, but I've got everything factored into my TBR. And as far as video challenges, I'm gonna try to do at least one. That is my goal. I'm keeping it realistic here. So at least one. Let's see. Hopefully I can do that. So let's get to these reading challenges though, because I'm so excited. <laughs> the first challenge is to read a book with blue on the cover. So for that, I'm going to be reading The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Maas. And this cover, it's like a library edition, so it's kind of shiny, but it's blue. It's very blue. And the great thing about this is that it's got it's a series of short stories and it's got five novellas in it. So for the blue cover challenge, I will be reading the first novella, which is The Assassin and the Pirate Lord. So there we go. Challenge number two is to read a book by an author who has the same first letter of their last name as you do. So the first letter of my last name is M, so I am going to be reading the second Throne of Glass novella because Sarah J. Mass starts with an M. So I'm going to be reading the Assassin and the Healer for this one. Challenge number three is to read someone else's favorite book. So for this, I never asked someone specifically what their favorite book was, but I've heard enough about this book to know that it's pretty much everyone's favorite book. So I'm going to be reading Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone because no, I haven't read Harry Potter. So this is my opportunity. I've been meaning to read this the entire summer. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this week. I'm so excited. I've read like the first two or three chapters, but you know, yeah. I need to read this, so this week. It's gonna happen. Just you watch. It's gonna happen. Challenge number four is to read the last book you acquired. For this, I have an order on Book Depository that is coming, and it's probably gonna come like halfway through Booktubeathon. So that's going to be the second Black Widow graphic novel, because it's still coming. So I don't have it yet, but when I have it, it'll be the newest thing that I have. So that's gonna count, because I'm really excited to read that. Challenge number five is to read a book without letting go of it, and for that, I will be reading The Assassin's Blade, novella number three, which is The Assassin and the Desert, because I think there's no way I can read this entire book without letting go of it. I mean, look at it, it's like 400 pages, but I think I can read a novella without letting go of it. Like, that's manageable. I can do that. So, we'll see how that goes. Maybe I'll vlog that, because that's going to be really interesting. Challenge number six is to read a book that you really, really want to read. And for that, I will be reading novella number four from The Assassin's Blade, which is The Assassin and the Underworld. Because I really, really want to read this, because I just finished Crown of Midnight, which is the second book in the series, and these are like prequel novellas, and I'm so excited, because I need to read more of this world, because I love it. And the last challenge is to read seven books in seven days. Which, I don't know if this is actually going to happen because I'm a slow reader, but it might happen. I'm, I'm hoping. I should at least read five or six. Seven, we'll see. But for my seventh book, I'm going to be reading the last Throne of Glass novella, which is The Assassin and the Empire. So, um, yeah, I've said enough about this book. But if I finish this entire book and Harry Potter and the graphic novel, that'll be seven. So... Maybe I'll be able to do that, maybe not, but I hope I will. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe. And let me know down below what you guys are reading for Booktubeathon and if you're trying to do all the challenges or not because they're kind of crazy. But yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye!